Every year there's that one sneaker release that might not be the most hyped up release of the year, it might not be the most limited release of the year, but it ends up being the most popular release of the year. And for the last couple years, it's felt like each one of these releases have been Jordan 1s. In fact, last year's, I think you could argue that it was the Mocha ones. And it seems like in 2021, the trend continues. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and today I'm reviewing the upcoming Air Jordan 1 University Blue. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler because I usually give you sneak peeks of the upcoming videos that I have in store. For example, you would have seen that these were coming because I dropped a couple Instagram stories about them. So just like a lot of the upcoming Air Jordans for the beginning of 2021, the Air Jordan 1 University Blues were originally set to release in the beginning of February, but have now been pushed back to March 6th. I'm actually not sure why. Maybe it was because they were supposed to release around All-Star Weekend and because that's all kind of screwed up because of the pandemic, they had to push it back or are trying to spread out their releases. I have no idea. But I actually picked up my pair early from a place called Statement, which is located in the Cherry Hill Mall in New Jersey. Also, shout out to Statement for this sick hoodie, by the way. This is a friends and family hoodie. I feel so honored. It's crazy. Statement store is awesome. And if you're in the Philly area, I definitely recommend checking it out. But I think I'm actually going to leave a link to their YouTube in the description below. They just started it off. It's an awesome channel. And I'm kind of hooked, to be honest with you. So I was really stoked that I was able to pick up my pair from there. They're all good people. And I've got to say, after seeing this shoe in person, I'm just blown away. So the colorway of this shoe is obviously inspired by Michael Jordan's college, the University of North Carolina, or UNC. And if you're a sneakerhead, I'm sure you're familiar with all the different UNC Air Jordan colorways that have released over the years, but it seems like recently we've been getting a lot more UNC themed sneakers, and I think it's maybe just because light blue is a much more popular colorway, or maybe there's some sort of anniversary I don't know about, but whatever the reason, I'm really excited about it because I think this blue and white and black colorway is just really, really clean. Now over the years, it kind of seems like Jordan Brand has played it fast and loose with the UNC naming scheme because a lot of the shoes that they've released haven't really been the UNC Tar Heels colors. Like the UNC ones from 2015 or 2016, I don't remember which one it is, or the off-white UNCs, that's not really Tar Heels blue. This blue on the other hand though, this university blue as Jordan Brand likes to call it, is almost exact to the Tar Heels colors, and in my opinion, this really should be the UNC shoe. But I guess that's really just a small detail in the grand scheme of things, so why don't we jump into the sneaker and find out what materials make up this pair of university blue ones. So starting off around the toe of the sneaker, you've got this really nice light blue or university blue nubuck material. And since I've been getting a lot more into materials and designing sneakers and looking at sneaker materials, I really feel like I should describe the difference between nubuck and suede. So what suede actually is, is the back side of a piece of leather sanded a little bit to give it kind of a hairy texture. It's a little bit less durable than the outside of the leather. Whereas nubuck is actually a finish done to the outside of the leather by sanding it. So even though the textures of suede and nubuck can be pretty similar, nubuck is actually a more expensive material and a more durable material. And usually nubuck tends to be a lot less hairy than suede. In fact, usually it's not hairy at all. A very sneakerhead way to describe a very smooth nubuck is buttery. And in my opinion, the nubuck on this shoe is very buttery. But tangent aside, moving up from the mud guard of the sneaker, you've got this really nice white tumbled leather in the center of the toe. It's pretty soft to the touch. It actually feels slightly nicer than most Air Jordan 1 leathers, but it's not incredible. I do, however, love the color contrast between the University Blue nubuck and the white leather. I think that just looks so clean together. Continuing up on the shoe, you've got some more university blue nubuck around the sides of the tongue, and then weaving through that nubuck, you've actually got these flat black laces. Now, what's nice about these laces is that if you don't like this black color, Jordan Brand actually gives you a set of university blue laces that match the nubuck really well if you decide to switch them out. I'm definitely not going to, though. I think the black laces with the black Nike swoosh and the black ankle area just tie together so nice. Underneath the laces, you've got your standard white nylon Air Jordan 1 tongue with a black tag at the top that has Nike Air branding in university blue. I love when Jordan Brand doesn't overcomplicate things with Jordan 1s and they just give you like standard color blocking like Chicago color blocking or black toe color blocking and they just make it a really nice color with some really nice materials. They don't go overboard, they don't give you a weird leather tag or anything like that. It's just a super clean, very classic Air Jordan 1 high and I feel like that's the best kind of Air Jordan 1. Moving inside the sneaker, you've got this black mesh sock liner and rounding off the inside of the shoe, you've got a black insole with the Nike Air branding printed on the heel in University Blue. And of course, like every other pair of Jordan 1s, that Nike Air branding 
identity is gonna wear off like the first time that you wear this shoe. It always does. As far as sizing and fit is concerned, the Air Jordan 1 University Blue fits just like every other pair of Air Jordan 1s. For me, that's true to size. Sometimes I go down half a size. Like in this case, I could only buy a size eight and a half because they didn't have any size nines. So I went down to a size eight and a half. It fits me all right. It's a little bit tighter than I would like because I'm usually a size nine, but it's not bad. And I would suggest if you have the opportunity to grab your true size. But as I always suggest, and I realize this is asking a lot, especially for a sneaker like this, if you have the chance to try the shoe on first before you buy it or any other pair of Air Jordan 1s, make sure to do that to make sure you're grabbing the right size for you. Continuing back on this just beautiful colorway, you've got more white tumbled leather around the midfoot of the shoe. In the center of this white panel, you've got this black tumbled leather Nike swoosh. And then as you continue farther back in the shoe, you've got more of that super buttery nubuck around the heel counter and around the wing of the shoe. And of course, on the lateral side of the sneaker, you've got your wings logo debossed in black. Rounding off the top of the sneaker, you've got some black leather, but unlike your standard Jordan 1s, it doesn't come in smooth, semi-gloss leather. It actually comes in this really nice tumbled matte leather, which I think actually feels more premium. Continuing down in the shoe, you've got your white Air Jordan 1 midsole, and then finally moving to the bottom of the sneaker, you get to the one part of the shoe that I actually don't love. Now you remember at the beginning of the video how I was talking about the different kinds of University Blue? Well, I feel like the University Blue Nubuck on the upper of the shoe and this blue outsole are two completely different kinds of blue. This blue rubber outsole is so much brighter than the Nubuck, it just doesn't look right together because they seem like two completely different shades of blue. I know color matching materials is tough, especially when they're supposed to be the exact same shade of a material, but I mean, come on. It's, it's like so different and they did it with the laces so I feel like they could have done it with the rubber on the outsole. I mean, I don't understand why they couldn't have made those two colors the same. They've done it a million times before and I'd also assume that they didn't do it on purpose because if they had done it on purpose, you would have thought that the two colors would be a lot more different from each other than they actually are. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal and it's definitely more noticeable on the promo images that they use online but it is kind of an oversight and although I'm not gonna see it when it's on my foot, I'm always gonna know it's there and it's always gonna kind of bother me a little bit. All that's Said though, the Air Jordan 1 University Blue that releases on March 6th is an incredible sneaker and one that I definitely think you should pick up if you're an Air Jordan 1 fan. Now obviously the problem is that it's not going to be the easiest shoe to pick up. In fact, I'd argue that it's probably going to be a pretty difficult shoe to pick up, but I don't think it's going to be incredibly limited, so resale at least around the time of release shouldn't be too bad. At least not more than like $350, but who knows. I'm not the best with sneaker prices, but I would say if you miss out on this shoe on release, I'd buy it sooner to release than later because as we've seen with pretty Pretty much every other popular Air Jordan 1 over the last couple years, the prices tend to skyrocket after a couple months. But I would love to know your thoughts on the University Blue Air Jordan 1s and whether you're planning to grab a pair when they finally release, whenever that ends up being. So make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.